Hi, my name is Jen, and today we're going to be going through a nice series of stretches, trying to let go of any tension that we're holding on to in those muscles, holding on to in that body. Uh, one of my goals for 2021 was to do a workout at least once a week for myself. And I know by putting this on YouTube that I'm not really doing it for just myself, but I wanted to share my practice today and hopefully, you know, help anyone else that needed to take that time for themselves and really needed to, you know, stretch out those muscles and enjoy a little bit of peace and quiet in their day. Um, I'm hoping the music isn't too loud, but that you guys can hear it. Uh, we're going to start off in a nice seated position. I'm actually sitting on a block to help in um, aligning my body and my spine. We can start off our practice today with just some nice big inhales and exhales. Taking those breaths, really filling in those lungs and letting go of any negativity, any tension that we might be holding on to in those bodies. Uh, really relaxing those shoulders and really just finding ourselves present in the room. Um, you can close your eyes if you need to, but let's go ahead and get ourselves started with those nice big inhales and exhales. Making sure that we're breathing in that positivity, exhaling out any negativity that might be holding on within. We're going to start off with a series of stretches. I'm actually going to remove the block and take some nice big inhales up and exhale it out. Taking a nice big breath, taking that stretch over into the side, bringing that arm in behind the head and really opening up that chest, taking that gaze up. And then let's bring that arm down. Oh, nice and soft. And inhaling it up. Exhaling it down. Inhaling it up. And releasing that arm and taking that stretch to the other side. Put that arm back behind the head. Opening that gaze up into the ceiling and bringing it down and opening it back up and exhaling it down. And opening back up. And Extending it up, just bring it down, inhaling it up, and exhaling it back out. We're going to bring ourselves onto all fours, taking it into some nice cats and cows, really stretching through that torso, inhaling it up, and exhaling it out. Feeling that nice stretch. And finding ourselves back to that nice neutral position, let's take it up to a high plank. Now, if a high plank doesn't feel right for you, you can just keep it on all fours. And then let's put one knee into the chest and extending that leg up, taking it to a downward facing dog. Dropping that heel down, feeling that nice stretch, bringing it back in. And bringing it back up. Bringing that knee back in into the chest. And drop it down. Bringing that other knee in. And let's take it back to the 
other side, bringing it back to your high plank. And draw the other knee into the chest. And extending it up. Pulling that right foot open. And bringing the knee back in. And extending it back up. Bringing it back to all fours. Let's take it into a little knee lift here. And then pressing it into that downward facing dog. Dropping those heels down. Feeling that stretch to the back of the leg. Woo, feeling that stretch. And then relaxing it. Letting those knees almost kiss the floor. But not necessarily letting it all the way down. And bringing it back up. And bringing it back down. You got it. And extending it back up. Mm. And bringing it back down and on to all fours. Let's sit it back into that nice child's pose. Stretching those arms out over the head. Mm. Taking those nice big inhales and exhales. Releasing any tension. And bringing it back to all fours. Let's take it back into that downward facing dog position. This time we're going to take it into a nice high plank. Got it. And taking it back to that downward facing dog. back to our high plank. And of course, you can always keep this as a cat and cow. Listen to that body. And let's take it back to that downward facing dog. This time we're going to take that nice walk the dog, alternating those heels to the floor. Pressing both heels back down. Let's take it back to our high plank. Take that nice chunga, lowering themselves down. Oops, I thought I moved that lock and squeeze myself back. And then bringing it up onto those elbows. Feeling that nice stretch to those abdominals. Mm. And lowering it back down. Let's press ourselves all the way back up to that downward facing dog. Woo! We got this. Woo! Lean back up. And back to our high plank. And lowering ourselves down. Bringing ourselves up for that stretch. Now, of course, if you have that flexibility, you can take this all the way up to those hands. But listen to that body. If you feel any pinching in that lower back, you want to keep it on those elbows. And let's bring it back down. Let's take it all the way back into that downward facing dog. And one more time, let's bring it back to that nice high plank, lowering ourselves down. And this time we're going to take those arms to the back. I'm going to remove my glasses for a moment and take that head to one side. Stretching that neck just slightly. Hmm. And then taking our gaze to the other side. Oh. And back to the other side. You should feel just a nice little stretch in that neck. For me, one side is definitely a little bit tighter than the other. So, you know, do take those inhales and exhales. Try to let go of any tension that you're holding on to in the neck. And then back to the other side. This is my tight side. And bringing those arms back up. My glasses back on so I can see what we're doing here. And we're going to take it into that nice child's pose, pressing yourself up and sitting it all the way back. And bringing our 
ourselves back up. We're going to take it into that downward facing dog so we can walk it all the way up into those feet. And taking that nice forward fold stretch, we're going to step it forward. Feeling that stretch, trying to release any tension. You can cross those arms, releasing that head in between those arms. Mm, you got it. You can hold on to those ankles or feet, wherever feels best in that forward fold stretch. Then walking it back out, dropping those heels, and then we're going to walk it back in, taking that forward fold, trying to deepen our stretch with every time we do this. Taking those nice big inhales and exhales, really trying to let go of that tension in the back, in the back of the legs. Again, folding those arms, trying to let that body just hang. And releasing it, walking it back out to that downward facing dog. Woo! Pressing that chest back and towards the knees. You got it. Woo! Taking that gaze up towards those hands, gives a little bit more stretch. down and onto all fours. We're going to take and bring one arm in between, lower yourselves down, feeling that nice stretch through those shoulders. Mm. And we're bringing it back up. And let's take the other arm, reaching it through. to a nice high plank, lower myself back down to my belly, and take another little stretch here for those abs. Again, you can press yourself all the way up if you feel best that way, or keep it on those elbows. We're going to take that arm underneath, looping it through, again taking that nice stretch through the shoulders. Oh. Inhaling and exhaling out any tension you might be holding on to in those shoulders. And bringing it back up. Take that other arm and loop it through. position, sitting it back onto those feet, reaching the arms out, and then from this position, we're going to bring that arm back underneath, feeling that nice stretch, Ooh. releasing that arm, Taking the other arm underneath, feeling that nice stretch through those shoulders. And releasing that arm, bringing it back out over the head. Placing that forehead onto your mat. Bring those arms all the way around and clasp behind the back. Trying to open up that chest. Ooh. Releasing those arms, letting them fall to your side. 
letting go of any tension. Relax in that body. Relax in your mind. And let's bring those arms all the way back around to the front. And slowly roll it up onto our knees. Taking that nice big opening with that chest, clasping the hands behind the back. Taking our gaze up and towards the ceiling. You close the eyes. Release the arms, roll those shoulders back. You're so good. And let's take ourselves back to that nice seated position. Taking those legs, crossing them, make note of which leg you have in the front because we will make sure that we stretch both sides. Let's take a nice big inhale all the way up. And we're gonna take a forward fold and we're gonna bring it down to the front, feeling that stretch all the way into that glute. Breathing in and out, trying to let go of any tension. It might be holding into those glutes, those hips. And slowly rolling it back up. You got it. Let's take that inhale up. Taking it back to a nice side stretch. Bringing it all the way down into that elbow. Really feeling that stretch. I don't know about you guys, but I feel that all the way into my lats. Depending on if you're in any of my classes this week, those glute stretches are going to feel really good. And let's take it to the other side. And bring it back up. Let's switch that front leg, taking the other leg into the front. Taking another nice big inhale all the way up. And let's take that forward fold, bringing it down into the floor. Taking those big inhales and exhales. And slowly bringing it back in. We'll start off with that nice big side stretch. Bringing it to that elbow. Ooh, feeling this one today. And bring it back up. And let's take it to the other side. Yeah. Feels so good. And inhale it up. Take that inhale up. And then exhale it. Doing wonderful. Let's extend those legs out into the front. Again, taking a nice big inhale up. And let's take that forward fold, reaching it down into those toes. Feeling that nice stretch through the back of the legs. And slowly bringing it back up. Taking one leg over the top, let's grab a hold of that knee and take a nice big stretch. Taking that nice torso twist. Think about sitting up nice and tall. Feeling that stretch all the way into that glute. Inhaling and exhaling. Trying to let go of those tight muscles. And bringing it back to the center. Releasing that leg out. Bringing the other leg up, taking that nice big twist. Mm. And releasing it back to the center. Bring those legs out into the front. Shake them out just a little bit. And then bringing those feet together, taking those knees out to the side for a nice 
butterflies. And then let's take a nice big inhale up. And take that forward fold, reaching it down into the front. And slowly rolling it all the way back up. We're going to take ourselves back to our uh, high plank, bringing it back onto the mat. We're going to start off on our bellies. Ooh. Let's take ourselves up into our high plank position. And I was going to say push up, but we're not doing push ups, although you have to push yourself up to get there. Let's bring ourselves up into that high plank. And from right here, we're going to bring one foot forward so we can take it into a nice deep lunge. Bringing that foot all the way to the front. Woo! Feeling that nice stretch. And you can take that foot to the outside of the hand or to the inside, wherever it feels best for you. I've got mine on the outside of my hand because I'm a little tight through those inner thighs also from some of our workouts this week. All those squats. All those lunges. And bringing it back to that high plank. Let's bring the other leg forward. Feeling that nice stretch. Breathing through any tension. Trying to release those muscles and that tightness. that leg forward into a nice pigeon pose, allowing that leg to come out to the side. You can take it down low, or you can keep it up high, depending on what feels best with your stretch. Taking that nice pigeon. Ooh. Again, taking those nice big inhales and exhales, we're letting go of any tension we're holding on to in those glutes, the hips. leg forward, taking the pigeon on the other side, Woo. settling into what feels like your best stretch, and then bringing it down if you'd like, bringing it down nice and low, trying to relax that body, release any tension. Take it back to that high plank position. Bringing those feet back out. I'm just going to walk it forward just a little bit. I'm scooching off my mat. And from right here, let's take it back into that downward facing dog. Pressing that chest back and towards the knees. Dropping those heels down. Let's take one leg up. Feeling that nice stretch, and then opening up that hip, let's bend that leg, taking our gaze up and in between the hands. Sending it back out, and then let's bring that leg all the way back forward, feeling that nice stretch again, either between the hands or to the outside, wherever feels best on your stretch. Take it back to that high plank, taking it back to our downward facing dog. Gonna drop those heels just a little bit more each time. Pressing that chest down and back. And then extending the other leg up. From here, bending that leg, trying to open up that hip a little bit. Oops, I'm hitting the railing. Taking your gaze up in between those hands. Sending that leg back up, and let's bring that foot all the way back forward. Ooh, you got it. And 
you bringing it back to that high plank. We're going to take it back to another pigeon pose, bringing that leg forward. Now you can always use a block if you need to. When we come forward, you can always put that block underneath that forehead. You can even put it underneath the hip if you need to. So use those blocks if you've got them and if you need them. Bringing it down, really feeling that leg stretch. Breathe. Breathing out and in. Kind of like all that tension in the glute and the hip. Then we're going to bring it back up high. And of course, it's always optional, but we're going to bend that back leg, trying to open up that hip and reach for that foot. Now, if you can't reach that foot, it's okay. You can always use a strap or just take a bend in the leg. We're just trying to stretch through that hip flexor there in the front. Trying to let go of that tension, taking those nice big inhales and exhales. Just don't forget to breathe, guys. Release that leg. And let's take it on the other side, taking it back to our high plank. And bringing the other leg back forward. Ooh. Taking it into that nice pigeon stretch. Again, bringing it down. And you can always use that block if you need to relax that forehead on the block. Listen to your body, okay? Bringing it back up, bending that back leg. We're taking that opposite hand, we're reaching for that foot, stretching through that hip flexor. Woo! Those hip flexors are tight. Taking those nice big inhales and exhales. Really trying to let go of that tension. Those hip flexors cause lower back pains also, so a lot of times those lower back pains can be resolved with some stretching of those hip flexors. Ooh, release that leg nice and slow. Let's bring ourselves back to that high plank. We're lowering ourselves down onto the knees. We're going to take it back into that nice child's pose. Bringing it back forward, we're going to lower it all the way back down and onto our bellies. We're going to go into some nice stretches for the chest. Um, this week I was challenged to do a bunch of push-ups. I only did 150. I shouldn't say only 150, but um, I, I did 150 push-ups this week. So we're going to stretch out those chest muscles. We're going to take both arms out to a nice 90 degree angle to the side. So you want to have that 90 degree angle at the elbow, and then bringing that arm out 90 degree angle from the body. And from right here, we're going to simply press ourselves into a nice little twist. So we're feeling that stretch through that chest muscle in the back, or the back arm. From here, you can even take that leg, let's go a little close to the railing, and you can take that leg back to deepen that stretch. Hurts so good. You guys are doing awesome. And then bringing it back to our belly, bringing the other arm back out to that nice 90 degrees, down to the side, 90 degree angle with the elbow, and then simply pressing ourselves into that body roll. And again, you can take that leg back to really deepen that stretch. Bringing it back to our bellies. We're going to take that same stretch one more time on each side because it just feels good. So rolling that body back to the back. Again, using that leg as just a little extra leverage to deepen that stretch. And back to our bellies. And one more time, taking that body roll. 
stretching the other side. that chest, take a little lift, and then releasing those bodies down. Bringing it back up, take that stretch. And release it back down. We bring those arms back to the front. I'm going to go into a nice stretch to the quad, a little bit into the hip flexors, simply just by reaching back and grabbing a hold of that foot, getting that nice stretch. Hmm. Make sure you're taking those nice big inhales and exhales, really trying to let go of that tension. You can draw that leg up a little if you need to. Let us go back. And switching legs. We'll take that reach for the other foot. So we've got our nice palm up, taking a little bit of stretch in that head, just allowing the weight of that arm to kind of stretch through the neck. And let's switch sides. Awesome. 
placing that head, we're going to take our gaze over one shoulder. Now you can take that hand and take just a light tension here. And then taking our gaze over the other side. This is the side that I'm tight. Trying to take that gaze over the shoulder. Generally, we have one side that's tighter than the other. Could be the way you sleep. Could be the way you hold your phone. You just never know. And releasing it back to the center. Let's take our look down towards the mat. Releasing any tension through the back of the neck. And let's take our look all the way up and towards the ceiling. Bringing it back to the front. Let's go through all those just one more time. Taking our look over that shoulder. Add a little bit of center. Taking our gaze over the other shoulder. A little tension. And releasing it back to the center. Taking our gaze down. shoulder stretch and of course making sure we stretch both sides grab that elbow tapping that shoulder lifting it up feeling that stretch to the tricep taking both sides, tapping that shoulder, grabbing that elbow, reaching it up. Releasing those arms. Roll those shoulders back. Bring that inhale all the way up. So I'm clasping the top and taking a nice big stretch and rolling it forward. Kind of pull those shoulder blades apart. We're going to take our reach to one side. And to the other side. Back to the center. Bring it all the way up. Release those arms. And let's take one more. Nice big inhale all the way up. Bringing those palms together. And bringing it back down to heart center. Thank you so, so much for joining me today in my stretch. I hope you guys enjoyed and feel a little bit more relaxed and a little bit less tension being held in that body. I know I definitely needed this stretch today after a hard work, uh, a hard week of working out hard and pushing everyone and uh, really trying to, you know, lead by example in my classes. Um, I really try to push myself to push you guys. Um, to do your very best. I know you guys are stronger than you think and sometimes it just takes a moment to, you know, let go, to really just be able to appreciate how hard everyone is working, including yourself. And so, thank you so, so much for being here today and I hope to see you guys in classes next week. Um, watch for those videos. You know, I do a fitness connection live at home on Tuesdays and Thursdays, some spin, some step, and then of course, you know, live in person, I work at Body Fuel and Fitness Connection and Kaya. Um, I absolutely just love seeing all your faces in person, even if we are covered up with a mask. Um, so hopefully I will see everyone very soon. And again, thank you so, so much for joining me today in my nice stretching practice. And we will do it again soon. Thank you.